So as you probably already know, there's this kid named Yi Heng Wang who in 2022 kind of demolished the 3x3 world record average. Now in 2024, he holds all the top 10 fastest 3x3 averages. Now if you go a few years back in cubing, this might seem kind of familiar because in 2011, something very similar was going on. Now if you look back from 2011 to 2016, there's this guy named Felix Zenpex who's basically dominating every event because he's just improving so quickly. Now then, when you come back to 2024, you see this little kid, Yi Heng Wang, who's just improving so quickly. But he has a few weaknesses. So some of which are, Yi Heng Wang is not color neutral, unlike most top solvers. And unlike, say, Timon Koshinsky, for example, he does not know really any ZBLL. But I basically just saw something that means Yi Heng Wang is definitely going to be the next Felix Sendex. One, Yi Heng is learning ZBLL. And secondly, he is also learning how to be color neutral. Which means that he basically just eliminated his two main weaknesses. And since Yi Heng is already at the top, he can only improve his own records. Now let me even talk about some other events that aren't just 3x3. So Yi Heng has also improved a lot at 2x2. He literally got a 0 0.93 2x2 world record average, which was the first sub 1. But that actually got cancelled, so if you want to learn more about that, watch my video right here. He's also improved quite a bit at Pyramings and got a 198 average, which is 49th in the world. And an even crazier 116 single, which is 40th in the world. So you can only imagine what could happen if you put even more effort into these other events.